Here's a detailed explanation on how to optimize the performance of an ASP.NET Core application. 1. Caching In-memory caching, store frequently access data in memory, e.g., using memory cache, for faster retrieval compared to database calls. Output caching, cache entire responses or parts of responses to reduce server load and improve response times. Use middleware like response caching middleware. Data caching, cache database query results to avoid redundant database calls. Explore libraries like Microsoft Extensions, caching Redis for distributed caching. 2. Code optimization. Profiling, use profilers like built-in.net dump or tools like Glimpse to identify performance bottlenecks in your code. Optimize database queries, write efficient SQL queries, minimize redundant database calls, and leverage techniques like lazy loading and eager loading. Reduce object allocations, minimize unnecessary object creation within loops or frequently called methods. 3. Configuration Enable compression, use middleware like response compression middleware to compress responses, reducing bandwidth usage and improving perceived performance. Static files, configure serving static files like CSS, JavaScript, and images efficiently using caching headers and enabling compression. 4. Asynchronous programming. Leverage asynchronous programming with async slash await keywords and libraries like task and HTTP client to handle long-running operations without blocking threats. This improves responsiveness and allows handling multiple requests concurrently. 5. Database optimization. Database indexing. Create appropriate indexes on frequently used database columns to improve query performance. Database normalization. Normalize your database schema to minimize data redundancy and improve query efficiency. 6. Hardware and hosting. Hardware resources. Ensure your server has adequate CPU, memory, and storage resources to handle the expected application load. Consider cloud options. Cloud platforms like Azure App Service offer auto-scaling capabilities to handle fluctuating traffic while optimizing resource usage. 7. Monitoring and Logging Implement monitoring, use tools like Application Insights or built-in logging to track application performance metrics and identify potential issues. Exception Handling Implement proper exception handling to prevent cascading failures and improve application stability. Remember, identify bottlenecks, prioritize optimization efforts by identifying the areas causing the most significant performance impact. Gradual optimization, implement optimizations iteratively, measuring performance changes after each step. Consider trade-offs, some optimizations might come with trade-offs in terms of memory usage or code complexity. Evaluate the best approach for your specific needs.